Hello everybody from Jared. How are you? So, let's learn some new English words from the countryside. So, ready? Come take a walk with me. So, this beautiful guy is a lovely lemon tree. Here we have some Rose Bay, Rose Bay, um, Oleandro, oppure anche più semplicemente Oleandro. But è curioso il nome Rose Bay, perché Bay, oltre a voler dire baia, spiaggia, Bay è l'alloro. E questo viene chiamato Rose Bay perché è una, come dire, è un alloro che fa le rose, perché quando l'oleandro è in fiore no? fa dei bei fiori eh, rosa e bianchi. So, here we have the Rose Bay. And, of course, one of the main character of this land, the olive tree. And a very, very nice mimosa tree. Mimosa, chiamata anche Silver Wattle. Look at that. That's beautiful. So, here we have an adorable fico d'india. Fico d'india, eh, il frutto del fico d'india si chiama prickly pear. Prickly, che sta per spinoso, quindi pera spinosa, no? Rende bene l'idea. So, the, the plant, of course, is a prickly pear tree. Over there, we have a wild plum tree. Quindi un susino selvatico, wild plum tree. And that one, in, in its case, it, it makes yellow fruits. And in this moment, it's blossoming. In fiore, it's blossoming. It's beautiful, isn't it? Those are the bamboo canes. And bamboo canes are, you know, they can be bamboo and they are very nasty, very, very nasty indeed because they, gosh, they, they grow everywhere, you know, you, sometimes you, you, you have to contain them because they really, you know, spread everywhere. They, they can be nasty indeed. This is a rose tree. I don't remember actually the color uh, of the flowers, but okay. In this moment, they, in this, there are some fruits, from red fruits, and this, the spine, are called thorns. Lovely. These are beautiful flowers. And, as you can see, they have grown from bulbs. They are the bulbi, from bulbs. And they, they got in different colors. Very beautiful indeed. Just right behind me, there is another symbol uh, of the Tuscany countryside, the cypress trees. Really, really popular right here in Tuscany. These nice plants should be crawling rosemary because it's, I mean, it's definitely Rosemary, rosmarino, but it's the, you know, the, the crawling version, to crawl, the estrisciare, no? Crawling version, the crawling rosemary. Here we have the broom, la ginestra. Uh, no flowers at the moment, but, you know, uh, there are really many, many brooms here in Tuscany. And there's another one over there. There we go. Hello. All right, here we have a beautiful jasmine hedge. Jasmine and uh, gelsomino, and hedge is siepe. Look at that. At the right time, there will be lovely white flowers with an intense smell. Beautiful, look at that. It requires a little maintenance, of course, like, you know, everything in the country, but the result is great. It's great indeed. This one is another, and it's another symbol of the, you know, of the, of these lands, of this territory. It's a loquat tree, un nespolo, a loquat tree, and the fruits. Oh, I really, really love them. 
in the olive grove, Oliveto, olive grove. And even from the, you know, even from the other hills, from the other properties, uh, this is the time for trimming, per la potatura, for trimming. And it's a, it's a bit of a work, you know, it's a quite tough work because it requires energies, it requires time and great abilities too. Well, you know, olive trees are, are something precious, something important. Of course, they require time, they require attention, they require care. They, you know, they want to be treated like children. But of course, if you like making your own oil, well, that's good, that's good. So, I just hope you, you enjoyed this video. If you haven't done it yet, please subscribe to my channel. Just follow me. And thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.